Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is the debut edition of the Cage Fight Chronicles. I'm your host with the most, Ezra Vickery. Now we'll be covering all things MMA, from UFC to Bellator to One Fighting Championships. You will hear it all on our Nation Sports Show. And let's not waste any time. And let's cover the main fight card for UFC on ESPN, Porchaska versus Reyes from this past Saturday. In the opening fight on the card, Morella Devalashivi took on Cody Stanman in a band of weight bout. That fight ending in a unanimous decision, 30-27, 29-28, and 29-28 for Morella. In a middleweight fight that came after this one, Sean Strickland took on Kristoff Joko with the fight ending for a unanimous decision win for Strickland, 30-27, 30-27, and 29-28. In a light heavyweight bout, Ian Kurulaba and, and Dustin Jacoby went to a split decision draw, with the fight going in 28-29 for Kurulaba, 29-28 for Jacoby, and a 28-28 draw. In a featherweight co-main event, Giga Tchaikovsky defeated Cub Swanson in round number one at one minute and three seconds of that round, when Cub was caught with a body kick that rocked him and then Giga took him down and punched him out until the refs stopped the fight. And in the main event that is still being talked about because of the finish of the fight, GV Porchaska took on Dominic Reyes. The fight ending at 4 minutes and 29 seconds when Porchaska hit Reyes with a vicious spinning back elbow, which knocked him out clean cold. The ref, the ref didn't even have to jump in between the fighters as Reyes' prone body hit the canvas. Congratulations on all winners and fighters in this one. Of course, Porchaska getting fight of the night honors, which includes an extra payday for the man. Now on to some UFC news. As many of you know, Diego Sanchez was released from the UFC this past week, which effectively ends the tenure of Ultimate Fighter Season 1 fighters on the UFC roster. He was also set to face Donald Cowboy Cerrone this coming weekend at a UFC on ESPN event live for the UFC Apex in Las Vegas. However, that has been changed because of his release, and Alex Murano, who has been making a name for himself recently in the Ultimate Fighting Championships, will now take his place. Cerrone, of course, is looking to get back to winning ways after being on a couple of fights that he has lost. He was on a three-fight win streak between 2018 and 2019, now looking back to get into the win column. Um, the fight that is set to take place between Nate Diaz and Leon Edwards has been moved. The reason being because Diaz suffered an injury in training camp. And now the fight has been moved from UFC 262, which was supposed to happen in about two weeks, to UFC 263 on June 12th. Of course, Diaz looking to get back into the win column after losing that fight to Conor McGregor. Uh, and Leon Edwards, who has been ab absolutely on a roll with an 18-3 record, 10-2 in the UFC. Diaz, 20-12 overall in MMA with a 15-10 record in the UFC. The exact nature of the injury is unfortunately unknown at this time. Uh, this was reported by MMAJunkie.com. It did a quick report from SB Nation um, based on the overall medical suspensions. Uh, Chris Wyman will be facing a six-month layoff due to his broken leg that he has sustained at the hands of his fight from UFC 261 against Uriah Hall. Uriah Hall checked Weidman's kick during the fight, which unfortunately snapped his leg and ended the fight within seconds of the round. Other fighters that are currently going to be suspended, including Valentina Shevchenko, who will be suspended for 180 days, and all other fighters will be suspended for a mandatory 60 days by order of the Athletic Commission. That is it for this week's edition of the Cage Fight Chronicles. I thank you for joining me on my debut episode. If you want to follow me, you can go to at Deadman469 on Twitter and Instagram. Don't forget to follow Our Nation Sports Show at YouTube.com. Just search Our Nation Sports Show in the search column. We need to get to 100 likes to get a custom URL, so please get us subscribed. Please share with your friends. We could always use it. Eventually, I will have a page for this for this very show. So please keep an eye out to the Our Nation Sports Show social media for more. And that is it for this week's episode of Cage Fight Chronicles. I am Ezra Vickery, and I will see you next week. Until then, keep on fighting.